Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Kyoto the Fail, and I apologize for looking at me instead of the camera when I first started recording. Um, my computer, my camera thingy-majiki is being weird. I don't know what's going on. It's, uh, my SIM card randomly, literally randomly fell out of my phone and into my pocket. Um, I don't know how that happens because I'm pretty positive you have to, like, push that button or make it inject, but I don't know. Anyways, it came out of my phone, and that was really confusing, it's been acting weird since. And I went ahead and started recording this, but apparently it was only five minutes, and it stopped. But as you can see, I am wearing my crown, and I'm sorry to tell you guys, but I am no longer queen, because I'm no longer playing Reigns Her Majesty. So, here we go. Off with the crown, crown, and on with me, Kyoto the Fail, only. Instead of Queen, uh, Tony, Green, Queen, uh... Chelsea, Queen, whoever, I don't remember the names anymore. Um, yeah, I went ahead and recorded the first question. Um, I already answered the first question. I've been playing, or I'm playing, uh, Would You Rather? Uh, kind of clean party edition. I don't know if it actually shows in the correct order on the video. From me, it's, it's backwards. I don't know if you can see it correctly or not. And because of that, I'm not going to show you the questions because I don't know if it's actually going to show it the correct way. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. I'm going to be completely honest with what I'm reading and completely honest with my answers. Um, again, I've already answered the first question. Unfortunately, there's actually two per card. I didn't know that. But I went ahead and I decided I was going to go do Would You Rather um, again because they're really, really fun to do. They really are. And... Uh, I got a card game and all that because they actually give questions instead of me having to try to look them up or ask people to give me advice and stuff for questions because no one actually volunteers. And also like I said in the five minute video that um, is not going to be shown or whatever, I am once again drinking beer, and which I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do not drink and drive ever, no matter what your age is. And also, if you're under the age of 21, do not drink illegally, please. I do not advise it. I do not recommend it. I'm not trying to advertise it or anything like that, trying to make it seem cool. Do not do it. You can get in trouble, and I don't want to chance it. So, I mean, if you do it, that's your own choice. I, I can't stop you, uh, but your parents can. So, have fun with that. Anyways... I'm going to go ahead and start with the questions after I take a drink. So the first question I answered was, um, it says, would you rather be allowed only, only 30 swallows per day or only 300 blinks per day? And like I said uh, in the other video that you guys aren't going to see, I don't know if that counts as just the involuntary saliva swallow I know it sounds gross but people do it you can't deny it people do it or if it counts as the involuntary saliva swallow or food or drink swallow which in that case if it does include those I'd rather it be limited to the 300 300 blinks per day um, that's the one that I'm going to choose final answer yada 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 and like I said in the other five minute video, and I'm sorry if you can hear me burping, I'm really not really trying to do that on purpose, it's the beer, okay? That's another thing that you guys don't want to do. If you guys don't want to burp, don't drink beer. Um, the other thing that I'm really confused about is that it gives me A and B tokens. I didn't read the full instructions on how to play this game or whatever, but it gives me A and B tokens to show me if my answers are correct or whoever voted the more of it. I don't know how these work. I tried. Um, when I read the instructions on the box, it said something about, like, hold it up or whatever, and it, it's not working. So, the tokens are useless. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my pocket so I don't lose them. Anyways, for the other one, it's, uh, would you rather have a poltergeist trash your home every night or be abducted by aliens every week? My question with that is, with the aliens, are you going to get... Or do they still have the probe? Um, like I said, people severely underestim un underestimate my severe hatred for cleaning. 
and it's gonna make me sound bad if I'd say I'd rather prefer the probe over the cleaning. Um, but it's a poltergeist though. Poltergeist does like deep, intense fucking trashing. Language. Language, I'm sorry. B uh, parental advisory, strongly advised. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, poltergeist, they do extreme da damage to house and outside the house. And I really, 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 really hate cleaning. I'm really lazy. So in all honesty, I think I'd prefer to be abducted by alien once a week. Not to mention how amazing would it be to find aliens and try to like figure out what their intentions are and all that. If they actually plan on coming to Earth or not, or my theory, they don't want to because of some of the reality TV shows that we watch that are just be on stupid. That's probably chasing them away. War, a starvation, or hunger, which is starvation, greed, lust, everything else that makes humanity just horrible. Yeah, I really don't think the aliens are visiting because of that. Anyways, next question. This one I have not seen yet. Um, these questions have actually been picked out for me. Um, these are not the ones that I have seen yet. The, this is my first time seeing them, so this is my first reaction to these. Um, would you rather make a living as a Zen master or a dungeon master? Ooh, I don't know. Zen. I need more serenity in my life, so I think I'd actually rather go with the Zen master. The next question would be, would you rather have a bed eject you into a pool at 6 a.m. every morning or have burly interns drag you to bed at 9 p.m. every night? Um, I think I'd rather be dragged to bed every night because I really can't stand. I, I'm not a morning person. I know everybody says sleep is for the week, but I am very, very, very weak. Very weak. I need my sleep. Due to the depression, anxiety, and all that fun stuff, I need a lot of sleep. So yeah, I'm very weak. Um, I'd really rather just be dragged to bed at 9 p.m. every night. Yeah, that's what it says. Next questions. Would you rather be able to control spoons with your mind or summon a honey badger at will? Oh my god, honey badgers do not give two dings, to put it nicely. They really don't. Honey badgers, they're intense, oh my god. Be able to control spoons with your mind, what, what use is that? Or summon a honey, oh god, I would really, okay, it's at will, so I'd rather actually be able to summon a honey badger at will. That'd be amazing. Spoons, I don't really know what the purpose of summoning a spoon would be. Oh, except for when I'm at work and I forget spoons. But I know how to make spoons out of uh, um, regular scotch tape and paper clips now. Uh, yeah, I've had to do that because I've forgotten to bring spoons to my work and I needed a spoon. So I made one out of paper clips and tape. Tasted disgusting, but it worked. I was able to eat my food. Ooh, it was chicken, rice, and corn. Oh my god. Now I'm hungry. Anyways, next question. The honey badgers. Honey badgers for the win. That's that's all I have to say. It's honey badgers. Next question would be, run out of toilet paper during a sticky situation. Hmm. Run out of gas in the rain. Oh, I love rain, though. I would rather run out of gas in the rain. I don't. I really don't like my clothes being wet. I really cannot stand my pants being wet. I don't know why. Just around the ankles, it just bugs me so bad. But I'd much rather run out of gas in the rain. Especially because that could be anywhere, really. It could be like literally like right down my street and I could just walk home. It would be right there. Um, no big deal. Or whatever. But yeah, I'd rather run out of gas. So there goes that card. Next question would be... Oh, take 50 vitamins every single day. Or take one vitamin that pleads for its... Oh, that pleads for its life every day? Oh, um, wow, I'm going to have to take a drink to that. Well, I debate my poor life choices. 
What is up with my vents? I'm in my car. If you guys haven't guessed yet or whatever, I do all my videos and stuff in my car. Um, I'm hoping to change that as soon as my computer get fixed because I have my capture card now, but my computer is broken. It won't let me log in. All my incorrect passwords or whatever, it'll, it'll work just fine, but if I put in the correct password, it freezes my computer. Fantastic, right? No, it's not. Anyways, 50 vitamins a day or one vitamin that pleads for its life. I think, would it plead for its life before I started taking it? Because that would be amazing and that would be a great reminder. I'm horrible at taking pills. So if I had to take 50 pills a day in 24 hours, do the math. I'm really bad at math. I would have to take more than one an hour. I'd rather take one a day that pleads for its life. I'd feel guilty. Yeah, I would. But at the same time, I'm so bad at taking pills. So I'd rather take the one. Um, does it matter what time of day that you take it? Could it be like just any time during the day? Whenever you remember it? Because I remember. I just don't remember at the correct time. Even if I set it an alarm clock, that doesn't work. Because I'm always busy when the alarm goes off. And I completely forget all about it. Anyways, next question. Would you rather have a 3D... Topo topographical map of the world on your face or a giant unblinking cyclops eye on the back of your head. Well, if it's on the back of my head, I wouldn't even realize that it's there. Oh, and it would freak people out. Now that'd be amazing. I'm going to go with the cyclops eye. The cyclops eye on the back of my head? Unblinking? Oh, freak out people like crazy. That'd be amazing. Yeah, screw the whole uh, 3D topographical map of the world on your face. I mean, what, what do I need that for? Or anything. Next question. Would you rather have your taxes done by Tony Soprano? Oh, God, or by Miley Cyrus. Tony Soprano? Definitely. I would never let Miley Cyrus anywhere near my money. I wouldn't even give her a freaking dollar bill to manage. I would not. Oh, God. That would be a disaster. Oh, Tony Soprano all the way over to Miley Cyrus. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Double whammy. Would you rather replace every seat in your house with a working toilet or replace every toilet with a hole in the ground? I feel like I might have to sneeze again. Um, replace every toilet in your house, with, uh, every seat in your house with a working toilet or replace every toilet with a hole in the ground. That would require people coming to the house to visit, going to bathroom in like my living room. I think I'd rather the hole in the ground because I really don't want to see people doing the business in my living room. Sorry, people. Was that the last one? That was. All right. Would you rather be able to separate your body into five smaller versions of yourself or turn into a cloud of smoke? Ooh. Being able to separate myself into five different smaller versions of myself? Can you imagine the jobs that I have, the money that I would make? I'm going to do the smaller versions myself. What good would the cloud of smoke do besides like, uh, like on the street corner jobs kind of thing or whatever where you bake for money? I'm going to go with the smaller versions of myself because at least they can actually get working jobs. Just save their midgets. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I've been putting my cards in front of their right there. Or whatever. I've been putting them in front of my phone while I'm doing this. The first question put up and then put down. Next question would be would you rather have a snake tattoo that grows one inch every day one inch a day or nipples that expand an inch uh, tattoo. I'm going to go with the tattoo of the snake. Um, I'm good with the nipples. I'm, I'm fine with what mine are and all that. So I'd rather have a snake that grows one inch every day. Snake tattoo. That'd be awesome. Wait, did I even read the second one? Yes, I did. Anyways, next question. Put it on the phone. Would you rather 
Replace the internet with a brick and mortar libraries or replace television entertainment with stage place. I'm going to go with the television with stage place. Final answer, um, do I win a million dollars? I think I do because I'd really rather I do more things on the internet than I do with TV. So I apologize to the people that prefer TV over the internet. I really do. I'm sorry, but they're going to be stage plays now. Sorry. Have fun with that. Some of the plays are really good, so don't get mad. Anyways, would you rather sleep in a closed casket every night or drive a hearse as your primary mode of trans? Oh, drive a hearse as your primary vo mode of transportation. Definitely. A closed casket, that'd be kind of suffocating. Um, it would probably make anybody who's not claustrophobic into a claustrophobic person. Um, yeah, I'm going to go drive a hearse as a primary mode of transportation every day. Back over there, and next question. Would you rather... Oh, ooh, ooh, swallow a live cockroach or eat your bedroom pillow? Can we switch the cockroach with an ant? Because I've done that before. Um... You cannot say you've never swallowed an ant before. If you've never had an ant uh, call into your drink and you drink it, it happens. It happens, bro. It happens all the time. But I would much rather... I really like my pillows. I like my pillows. Oh, the cockroaches are so gross. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and swallow a live cockroach. I know, I know, horrible person I am. I apologize. I am so horrible. I apologize. Oh, okay. Swallow so I've cockroach. Because I like my pillows. Especially since my sister made me one recently. That was, it's so soft and cuddly and stuff. I love it so much. And I don't want a chance swallowing it. Or eat it, sorry. Would you rather send and receive text messages with your mind? Oh my goodness. Or... Stream YouTube inside your eyeballs. Oh, I think I'd rather do that YouTube because if, ooh, I'd be in so much trouble if things going through my mind. That's really, that's why I'm glad that nobody can read minds and stuff because if people could read minds, especially people close to me, I'd be so screwed. I would be. Oh, so yeah, stream YouTube inside my eyeballs. Maybe I can make videos that way. Oh. That would be amazing. Oh. Yeah, I would love that. Stream YouTube inside my eyeballs. Woo! Next question. Would you rather be able to use your fingertips or your fingers as scissors or your foot as a jackhammer? I've never really actually encountered a need for a jackhammer, so I'd rather use my fingers as scissors. At will. At will. Not always. I'd really rather not be Edward Scissorhands because that could be really bad because I have kids. Um, but I'd be able to use my fingers as scissors at will when I want to. That'd be so easy. That would that'd make life so much easier. Oh, God, I would love that, actually. The things that I could do with scissor fingers. Ooh, bad thoughts. Never mind. Go back to the, the good thoughts. Go back to good thoughts. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Oh! No, I'm sorry! Oh! Oh my goodness! I threw my crown over a thing of water that I bring to my work so I can make coffee. And apparently I landed perfectly around it. Um, let me move some papers real quick. I didn't adjust I swear to God this is real. But, like, literally, I threw my crown and it went around my water. Dude, that's amazing! How did that happen? Holy moly! Next question! As a, after I take a drink of my beer. I'm still impressed with that crown skill. How in the world did that happen? I threw it! Didn't I throw it? I don't remember anymore. 
Oh yeah, that's another thing you need to remember. I have a very short uh, term memory thing. Sometimes I can, some things I can remember very, very, very well. Some things I can't remember at all, even if they just happened. Anyways, next question would be, would you rather commute to work every day on a unicycle? Ooh. Or in a box, oh, I would love to be delivered in a box by UPS. Maybe. I'd arrive by 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. And I have to be at work at 3. Are they on time? Are they on time? Oh, God, the drive, though. Oh. That is a hard one to do. Only if they're on time for UPS. If not, then I guess I can leave like three hours before I'm supposed to be at work for the unicycle. In a box delivered by UPS. I can go ahead and be late and I can just explain to my supervisor and my boss and all the fun stuff that it's UPS's fault. Next question would be, it's upside down. Would you rather have every day be Christmas or every day be the last day of school? Oh, but that means that you would have to go to school. Okay, um, so I have to confess, and people are not going to be happy with me saying this, and I fell because my elbow was propped up, and it didn't really work out too well, so I'm adjusting my seat up a little bit more. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of things bad have happened on Christmas, and not to mention I'm a type of person who, when receives a gift, I don't know how to react. Uh, a normal person will be like, oh my god, thank you very much, and I'm just like, oh, thank you. It is, it's not meaning to be hurtful, it's just I, my, my brain and my reactions and stuff, just they don't work right. So when I received a gift, I'm just very awkward about it. So Christmas is really hard to do, not to mention I'm always, always worried about what people think of the gifts that I get them. So Christmas is a very hard thing for me. It really is. I really don't think that I give enough. I don't think I give good enough. I don't think I was, I don't know how to, no matter how good I receive for a gift, I can't react the way that I'm supposed to. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to deal with. And um, yeah, so Christmas is just really a hard thing, but I really hate the last day of school. I really do. I remember every single last day of school and it was just awful. God, even the last day of high school, my very, very, very last day of my senior year was just, I think I was numb. I don't think I actually even really believed that it was happening. Both are a different, difficult situation. Um, yeah. That's actually a really difficult or a question for me to answer. It really is. Um, a lot of emotion, emotion and stuff like that goes in both. Oh God. Um, if every day be Christmas or every day be the last day of school, I'm going to have to go with the last day of school every time. I, I just, I think I can handle that better than I can handle Christmas. I really do. Um, I'm just very, very bad when it comes to Christmas. I really am my anxiety and my depression and everything just kind of kicks in an overdrive and it's just it just makes the situation just so much worse than it really is um that's a really hard one for me to do um see so yeah, i'll just go ahead and go with the last day of school um for the next question would be would you rather live in a world where every door is three inches too short for you or all pants three inches too high Technically, I kind of already live in a world where the pants just don't fit regardless. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and live in a world where every door is three inches too short for me. I mean, I could deal with the whole ducking down and everything, but pants are just really annoying. Kind of one of the reasons why I'm the type of person who I have gone from wearing jeans every day to when I got pregnant with 1-2 Pikachu to wearing pajama pants every day. I'm more of a comfort person than I am fashion. Um, a lot of people don't like that. I'm not girly enough for some people, but whatever. I go for comfort over than I do fashion. Um, I just, I really hate pants. Um, wait, all pants. Does it count as like jammy pants too? If it counts for jammy pants too, then I'm definitely going to go with the door that's three inches too short for me. Because I love my jammy pants. 
Oh, that makes me sad. I'm going to go with the door that's three inches too short for me. I love my jamming pants. I'm actually wearing, um, they're not exactly jamming, they're, I guess they are jamming pants. Kind of. But they're supernatural pants or whatever. And I love them. They're so comfortable. And they have pockets. That's another thing that I love most about them is they have pockets. And I love them. And if they were too, three inches too high. Hmm. I'm just going to go with the door because that confuses me. I'm going to go with the door. Three inches too short for me. I can I can deal with the ducking. It's no problem. It make me feel tall. It make me feel like a good person. It make me feel tall. Yeah. But anyways, that was the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I will be back with another video. And hopefully I can make my videos better. Or I'm going to do a couple more would you rathers. But hopefully I can do other videos soon. Once my computer fix computer gets fixed because I have my capture card. I have, I can use my phone or whatever for recording. I have headphones. I have all that fun stuff. Um, so hopefully soon I can do more interesting stuff. And for the time being, I'm going to be boring. I'm sorry, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Like I said, I'll be back with another one. So bye-bye.